look around. Any of this look familiar? Well, it should. It's where you live. The town you were brought up in or moved to. And this place is growing. There's a movement going on to make the town more efficient and modern. They want to put the RCMP, the town hall, and the emergency response team all in one building. A new building. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, fact is, there are a lot of differing opinions. All these people can do is spend my money. They keep jacking my taxes up, and what do I get out of it? Nothing. It's tough making ends meet. I'm plowing snow in the winter and hauling gravel in the summer, and I'll be damned if my hard-earned tax dollars are gonna go pay for some palace for a bunch of politicians. No, sir. We're fighting this one. That's another side. Some people think they need it. Another group is absolutely dead set against it. And there's another side. The new center? Yeah, I've heard something about it. No. Well, I don't think we need it. Well, maybe we do, but I think we have other priorities first. Like, like why are we housing the RCMP in there? They've already got a building. I mean, why are, what about the people living in this community? Why aren't we looking at a daycare or a drop-in center or, you know, something for our seniors? I just think we have to really think this thing through. There's lots of opinions. There's as many views as there are people on most issues. Here's one. The mayor's. Look, there's been no decision. We haven't even passed a motion. Council and I have talked, and we've decided it's time we consolidated some of our operations. Besides, our old building is falling apart, and you know yourself. It's gonna cost you more to fix an old building than build a new one. Yes, I've, I've heard the rumblings on the street. You can't miss it in a town this size. So, it's going ahead, okay? They can't do that. They're not gonna ram this thing through without a fight. It can't be legal. It's gotta go to a vote by the ratepayers. We didn't ask for this. Why do we need to pay for it? I, I thought this was a democracy. I think we got a problem here. In fact, I know there's a problem. The politicians heard there was some opposition to a new building, so council discussed it and looked at some options like plebiscites, surveys, focus groups, and eventually decided on a public meeting. Here it is. Seems the voice of the people was heard. Council scheduled a public information meeting. What do you know? The meeting's going to be run by an outsider with no access to grind and no opinions on this building. It's all going to happen here, tonight, 7.30. They chose Fred Sampson. He's pretty qualified. He's retired now, but he was the manager of Blue Mountain County for 20 years. He lives about 40 miles away. He's here tonight to help all the sides come to some common ground on the decision-making process. <laughs> Not an easy job, but keep in mind, this is a meeting to work out the way a decision will be made, not to make the decision. Remember, this is a meeting to work out the way a decision will be made, not to make the decision. Now, you're going to see Cam, and Sally, and the mayor here tonight. Uh, there's probably another 150 people here. It's a big night. Somebody close the door at the back. Thanks. Tests, tests. Can you hear me in the back? Yeah. Great. Okay, I'd like to thank you all for coming. My name is Fred Sampson. Now, I was told there was going to be a lot of people here tonight, but I had no idea the turnout would be so high. It would have been even more, but nobody even knew about it. Wait a minute. We put it in all the papers. Maybe we didn't buy ads on the front page. But listen, we felt it was important to provide the best information for the people. And where did you put those ads in the paper? I'll bet there weren't more than a couple of us who knew about them. And if it hadn't been for guys like me, no one would have showed them. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, settle down, please. Let, let's remember why we came here, and not how we came here. We're here to talk about the new building. And before the end of the evening, there'll be time to discuss how best to get the word out about the next meeting, okay? Now, tonight, Everybody who wants to speak gets a chance. 
You see that? What Fred did there was maintain control of the meeting while still acknowledging Cam's concern. Fred offered up the fact that he's willing to work with the people, all the people, and that the notice of meeting was something that the group would deal with before the end of the evening. Essentially, Fred set the stage for the whole meeting. Now, watch this. Now what you're doing here is figuring out how to work together so that you can make a decision on the building. I'm here to ask questions and try to keep things moving forward. I don't have a position one way or the other. I live down the road. <laughs> now, I have three things in mind. First, let's give everyone the opportunity to tell us what the situation is from their perspective. Second, as a group, you have to work together to develop a plan to help you get to that decision on the building. Now, I know this was advertised as an information meeting, but Council has heard from a number of you, and they've proposed that we spend a little time talking about how you can make the best decision for the town. Is everybody okay with this? Well, as long as the people get a say in the matter. Thank you, Sally. Let's note it. You want to make sure that people have the opportunity to provide input into the final decision. I'll get back to that in a few minutes. Number three. Let's make sure before we leave tonight that everyone is comfortable with the plan. Sound good? Fred was careful not to make any assumptions about why people were at the meeting or what they hoped to accomplish. He identified a course of action for tonight, for the group, and got their permission to proceed. Now, of course, they want to make the best possible decision, and that means getting people the information they need to be knowledgeable. Now, the last thing they need is an ill-informed, emotional bunch of trigger-happy opponents. Now let's make one thing clear. You're not going to make a decision on the new building tonight. This isn't a yes or no kind of event. All you're doing is deciding how the town is going to proceed. Now, who would like to speak first? No one? Well, uh, Mayor. You might as well get the ball rolling. Look, we're a growing community. We want to create a modern central building that delivers services efficiently. Recreation, FCSS, fire and ambulance, maybe the RCMP, a building like Glendale County has just built. The town hall's 50 years old. The maintenance and energy costs are soaring. The place is falling apart. So efficiency and growth is what concerns you the most. I'd say so. What are we going to pay for next? A statue? <laughs> Everybody who wants to speak gets a chance. Let's all agree right now to show some respect for all the speakers tonight, OK? Thank you, Mayor. Now, Sally Coleman for the Ratepayers Coalition. Sally. What we feel this is about is financial responsibility. And that doesn't mean we don't think we need a new building. But why are our taxes going to pay for ambulance garages and, and a jail for the RCMP? What's wrong with their buildings? So it's the idea of a new building or not utilizing older buildings that's your concern? Well, well, no, not exactly. It's just I, we, feel we need to look at what uses a new building would serve the people best, not just group together buildings and, and services that already exist. So what would you like to see? Well, more thought. I mean, wh what about a daycare center? What about something for our seniors? I mean, they haven't got any place to go now that the co-op cafeteria closed. If you had to sum up uh, what you wanted in one sentence, what would it be? The Ratepayers Association requests a realistic assessment of the community's building needs. Sally seemed pretty together once she got her chance. Fred was able to get her to articulate her reasons so that everyone understood that I don't want it just cuz is not going to be taken seriously. Now, watch how Fred takes Cam's negative comments and rephrases them in a positive light. It's very interesting how he does that. Thank you, Sally. Now, there is another group being represented informally here by Cam Jessup. Cam. Can you say a few words? Um, <clears throat> my name is Cam Jessup. Some of you know me. Uh, look, anytime we get a little ahead, 
You guys come along and I want to raise our taxes. I don't think any of us are going to stand for another tax increase. The, the self-serving members of this country club just ignore please, the vote. Please, please, uh, let's settle down. You think that council doesn't take the voters' input seriously? Right. Once they get elected, it's like we don't exist. So you need to be confident that they will really allow the voters to have some real input. That's what I'm saying. Now, you mentioned taxes. Is it the building or the taxes that concerns you? They're one and the same. If they get this building, you know our taxes are going up. But just a minute, folks. So you don't want the building and you don't want a tax increase? That's what I'm saying. Now, I know, I know this is difficult for everyone, but could we please just have one person speaking at a time? Now, my understanding is that you feel that any building will automatically increase taxes. Yep. Well, after hearing from your mayor and Sally and Cam and a few others in the hall tonight, it strikes me that there is at least one common area of concern. Each of you wants what's best for their community. Would you agree with that? Well, Maybe the best thing we can do with the remainder of our time is to decide how the town can best make a decision. Good. Let's start with Sally. What concerns you about the decision-making process? Uh, well, I, th I think like what Cam said, we weren't asked for any input. They never offered any opportunity for, for the people to have a say. I mean, we're getting a lot of new young people in town and maybe they're going to want a daycare center or you know maybe some of our older folks are going to want a nice warm place to meet i mean what the mayor wants for this place i mean it's all nice but we can't afford a place that has all that stuff as well as the other things we need i mean we need to take care of our citizens you feel you can't afford it well i i don't know i mean maybe we can't i don't know i just you know for me or for us we want to know why we're spending the money and, and what we can expect back from spending it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty sad when, when we taxpayers have to organize into a, a group in order to be heard by council. So whatever you all agree to here tonight will have to include citizen input and that it will have to explore taxes and the possibilities of different uses for the building. Exactly. I mean, New taxes drive business away when we should be looking at, at things to, to attract business and people to our community. I mean, that's what helps growth, Mr. Mayor. I mean, we want to be listened to here. Fred has helped Sally articulate her point of view. It's not just about taxes. It's about the fact that money spent now might be better spent helping citizens who need assistance down the road or right away. So what you arrive at tonight will have to have public input consider the overall local financial picture, including the impact on property taxes and opportunities for seniors and young parents. Cam, you said you were concerned that the center is just going to increase taxes. Pretty straightforward to me. In fact, I think we should put it to a vote right now. Yeah, let's put it to a vote. Now this is how the path of a meeting can change at the drop of a hat. One voice, one call for action can derail the whole affair. Please, please, everyone, everyone. Now, as I recall, everyone agreed that no decision was going to be made tonight. And we're looking at how to get at the decisions that need to be made so that an informed vote, if necessary, can happen. Now, Cam, is it the increase in taxes what's got your group concerned and not the actual building itself? Well, they're one and the same. Uh, they get this new building, more taxes. Then could part of the process be to look at what tax increases there might be in a building? I guess so. But we all know there will be. And possibly if this facility could fit into some of the other's needs? That's not what I said. But you'd be open to the idea so long as nothing is committed to at this time. Well, as long as it's all talk, uh, yeah. No one is agreeing to a new building. Right. Thanks, Cam. Now, Mayor, you mentioned efficiency. Yes, <clears throat> we need to give people a more efficient government. 
and better emergency services. And if the RCMP move in, I think that's great. So how does this tie in with your concerns about building community? People that live and work here will see a centerpiece. It's safe, it's modern, it's efficient. So safety, the future, and efficiency are the concerns? Yes. Now what I hear you saying is that in the process of deciding for or against the new center, we should consider cost effectiveness and building effectiveness. Yes, that sums it up. But don't forget, it's a building you all can be proud of. Are there any other concerns or questions we should address? Anyone? Yes, in the back. Would you give us your name? Now, I don't mean to cut our time short, but I think we've covered the key issues. Let's take a short break, say 10 minutes. Then we'll write up a plan of action of what to do next and when to do it. 10 minutes? Is everyone okay with that? There's been a lot of suggestions. Does anybody have any ideas how we might bring all this together? And that's exactly the point. Everybody came here tonight to grind their own axes and push things to a vote. They wanted to walk away with their own point of view intact. Well, what we have now is a group of people who've listened and heard a lot more about their neighbor's point of view. And no voting. Folks, I'm beginning to realize that council could have had more public input. Maybe, maybe we should put together a committee of elected officials and, and citizens to review this project and come back to council and make some good recommendations. Absolutely, and I think we need some independent information as well. And that committee had better be looking at the increase in taxes. Yeah. We have that point here. There's a suggestion then that we set up a joint committee made up of council members and ratepayers and that the committee have access to financial information on a proposed building, information on the needs of the citizens, and the financial impact on everyone, including taxes. Now that raises a few questions. How do you pick the people? What type of skills should they have? What groups should they represent? Are there specific timelines we have to meet? And if the group reaches a consensus, is council going to adopt their recommendations? As for timeline, Council would like to use money from this year's budget for the building design and that would give us about four months before we have to start looking for an architect. So the committee will have to be chosen by... Two weeks time would be ideal. Then what about the selection process for the committee? Well, I think the main groups should uh, nominate a representative but there should be a citizen at large position as well. Those are the groups. What about the skills? Maybe a real estate person. How about an accountant? Or someone who's going to use the building? Would something like that be acceptable to you, Sally? Cam? Why don't we ask Bob Jeffries? He's local, uh, an accountant, he's got a good head on his shoulders. Would everyone be able to supply a committee member within the mayor's two-week deadline? That's not a problem. We can get those names by then. What we still need to know is whether or not Council will accept the committee's recommendations. This had better not be another dead end. They better accept those recommendations. All I can tell you is the committee's views will be heard by Council. But what might be a problem is if some of these final recommendations are too pricey, they may exceed the borrowing capacities of the community. Fair enough. I don't want to see a lot of money wasted on some committee nobody listens to. <laughs> Yeah, we need some guarantee the council won't go ahead and simply do what it wants to do anyway. Yeah. Well, I think uh, the fact that you're all here tonight is a signal that council had better listen. Okay, so we know how the committee will be chosen. What's this committee going to talk about? Somebody mentioned that we should get an estimate of the overall costs, including any increase in the taxes. That's something we already have in the works. When will that be available? By the end of August. I think we need to look at what people want in the building. That point was made earlier. The committee needs to gather information about what the people want in a building, if one is going to be built. Well, it's possible that the committee could look into doing a small survey, but that would come later on in the process. But before the committee made a final decision about the center. I mean, I think that the committee members should develop and conduct the survey. I think that can happen. I can't promise anything. 
But if you were on the committee, for example... I'll go on. <laughs> How long would a survey take? Probably four to six weeks. Okay. Let's let the committee manage that. Anything else? No? Okay. Just so we're clear about the next steps. A committee will be appointed by council to look into the matter and provide a report to council. The committee will be chosen from representatives made up from the main concerned groups, a citizen at large, and some financial and building experts. Now the mayor has indicated that while council still has the responsibility for the final decision, council will listen to the group and take their recommendations seriously. The committee's mandate is to look at the whole project and they have four months to do the job, including a public survey. Now, before we go tonight, we had a problem with how this meeting was advertised and we agreed to get back to it now. Any suggestions you'd like to make to council about advertising future meetings? Yeah, I got one. <laughs> okay, Cam, we know what you think. Over here. Yes, in the back, the gentleman in green. In the end, it all went fairly well. Well, it's not over by any stretch of the imagination, but there is a process in place for making a decision. No, not everyone's going to agree with that decision in the end. They never do. But by digging and listening, really listening, everyone finds out what everyone else really wants. They start to work together to come up with a solution. Now, that is the process, and it's really all about process, not about having a public meeting. It's about the way that decisions will be made. Got it?